to the world. Subscribe now to the Hot 97 YouTube channel. It's Ebro in the Morning with Laura Stiles and Rosenberg. So Chris Rock is getting roasted right now, guys. Oh, no. So um, he told an audience on Sunday that he turned down hosting the Oscars next year, saying going back to the award ceremony would be like asking Nicole Brown Simpson to go back to the restaurant where she left oh, her boy. eyeglasses before being killed. Uh, All right, Chris. I mean, that, <laughs> that, that definitely falls in line with Chris Rock's oh. staff humor. Yes. I mean, in terms of a joke, it, you have to look at it from the context of a pure joke. Like, it's an absolute joke. If he was being serious, like he was like, no, it would be like asking Nicole Brown to go. Then, okay, that wouldn't be funny. But he's joking. I am curious as to why he turned it down, though. I mean, you know what I mean? Why not go back? It would be huge. It would be so huge for him to go back. It's not like you're going to get slapped again. Maybe he's really traumatized. <laughs> maybe he really is, man. Maybe or maybe he's like, you're not going to use me for ratings. I don't know. I mean, don't they pay? Isn't it's a host? Yeah, they works. pay to host. Yeah, that's not a free job. You're there for like a few weeks. <laughs> Let's run these numbers up then. If, if you want me back, and man, maybe that's the play. Maybe he's saying he's not going to do it because the Oscars don't come around until when? Next March or something? Next February? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that's his place. Say he's not coming back, so they gotta beg him and run that fee up. Could it, be, you know it, like it's gonna cost you a bit more. It Time does seem less. though. It does seem though that Chris has maybe been affected by this more than any of us would have guessed. Like, hasn't you know talked to Will or tried to make it better? Hasn't wanted to talk about it very much. Hasn't done an interview. Um, doesn't want to do the Oscars. Yeah, it seems like he was pretty affected by it. You know. Yeah. Um, let's see. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if later on all of a sudden it popped up and like, okay, change my mind. I'm doing it now. Who knows? Who knows? But in each of his like shows, he always mentions it just a little bit. Have you noticed that? Like he'll just yeah, throw in just little, little little things, just a little bit. He's milking it. He's definitely milking. For sure, for sure. Uh, Megan The Stallion is uh, coming to the Marvel universe. Now, according to reports, uh, she just scored a role on a Disney Plus show, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law. Now, they're saying that she is confirmed as a cast member, but there's no details yet. So we don't know if she's playing herself or her alter ego, Tina Snow, like she did in P-Valley. We don't know yet. But um, Maybe she's but playing some, like, villain. Maybe she's going to really... I mean, Marvel's um, expanding their Marvel universe. There's a lot of new characters... But I can't keep up. I, yeah. It's a lot. This, it's is, a lot. this is far beyond my area of expertise. I mean, Rosenberg, you don't like Marvel anyway. I'm not a Marvel guy, no. I don't say I dislike it, but it's, I, I don't care. It's cool. Have you, how many, how it's many cool. Marvel movies have you seen, Rosenberg? Iron Man uh, and... And Black Panther. That may be it. That's it. Maybe. I don't that even know if it. you've seen Avengers. You've never seen an Avengers, have you? Don't think I've seen the Avengers. Yeah, we went to go see it together. Were you not with us? I, I wasn't able to go. Y'all yeah, went after go. the show one day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's still dope, but a great opportunity for Megan. But um, no, no, dope yeah. for her. I don't think she's worried that I'm not. That Yo, I'm not you in. guys want to watch something ill on the Disney app? That uh, if you want to see a dope, you know, kind of extended Marvel universe, MCU, Moonlight. Moonlight? Rosenberg, you'd oh, like Moonlight. Hmm. I've seen Moonlight for the movie. sure. Am wow. I saying it right? Moon Knight. Excuse me. Moon Knight. Moon Knight. Oh. I was like, I've seen Moonlight, the independent the film. Movie. Moon Knight. <laughs> Moon Knight. On Disney Plus, fire. Okay, okay. Um, another thing that just popped up, according to Deadline, production has begun on a sequel titled Beverly Hills Cop, Axel Foley, and it's coming to Netflix. <sighs> you know another redo? Yeah, Taylor Page. You know the oh, actor, Taylor Page's Taylor Page. Page. Yeah, she's, she's dope, but she's going to be a part of this. She's going to be Axel Foley? No, she's going to be a part oh. of this. <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be another sequel um, going straight to Netflix. So, you know, but Eddie Murphy's back. Yeah, at least oh, we'll Ed, get to okay. play the Axel F theme song. Dun, they better dun, keep that dun, joint. Dun, 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 that's your flash and light report. Yeah. Hard. Yo, speaking of television, 
Yo, we ain't been talking about them thrones. Uh, them well, Laura, I, uh, Laura and I have watched the first one. I have not watched the second. Yeah, okay, just uh, I watched the second one. last night. Was it fire too? It was some joints. It was joints. It wasn't. It wasn't. It didn't pop off crazy like the first one. The first one, I mean, was. Whew. Yeah, I thought they jumped in hard. It's a lot first to deal one was with. A lot. It was a lot to deal with. There was a lot of chatter, though, over the weekend I saw because with this episode, they went back to the straight Game of Thrones theme. Yep. The theme song. Which, by the way, do do the whole thing. It is Game of Thrones. Why are we playing right. games? Stop it, playing it's games. House of Dragon, it really could just be called Game of Thrones Part 1 or Game of Thrones the prequel. It's Game of Thrones. So lean in all the way. Why not? I'll just say this. Episode 2, House of Dragons... Griff just put it in the chat, is where you start to see the beef. The beefs are lining up. The yeah, issues I, have begun. The chess I already know, pieces I already are know, moving. I already know there's issues with uh, the way they're treating the black dude in the council. That gets a little deeper. Yeah, I know there's something going on there. But in this second episode, some things, some, there's some things that will definitely make you uncomfortable. All right. I've all heard right. of that, too. Incest stuff? Uh, no, not incest, just... With these girls, man, these daughters, man. You know, the king lost his wife, and now you got these little girls, 12, 11 years old, trying to marry some old man so they yeah. can keep the mm. bloodline. You're like, yo, I, come on, man. I mean, listen, right. it's, it's it's supposed to be a different... It's not a real world, and it's certainly not... It's Yeah, it's weird. But it was... I mean, that's what happened at that time. Women, true. I mean, girls that's, was getting married true. 13, 12, 13, 14 years old. Yeah, you can't you can't not do it just because people go ill when you see it. It's what it is. It is what it is.